What's up, guys? I'm Tash, and this is Tash Tech. I have a new webcam here that I'm trying to use. Oh, let me peel that plastic right off of there. Oh, yeah. It's still shitty. The sound is shitty. Everything is shitty. Webcams are shitty. I'm just trying something out here. And this is because it's a logbook T video, and I need, to, I need to hit you guys with this video right now. It is regarding the Ultimaker 3. Okay? I don't know if you guys have seen it. We have waited long enough for it to come out, and I'm very disappointed. All right? We should not be creating equipment like this in the 3D printing world at this at this point especially when when the MK2 the the Prusa i3 MK2 has been has been out for a while now and that has blown me away I mean I've ordered one I'm still waiting for it because there is a bit of a delay with it I mean it's a very in demand printer but this Ultimaker has very has really disappointed me and I want to go through this video that they released um, they had this whole big build up with the made hashtag made by Ultimaker 3 uh, social media campaign and I was really I was really interested because I really want an Ultimaker I really do but I can't afford one and they're not willing to give me any discounts or anything like that so I'm not doing this because I'm sour I, I still want one but um, I'm very disappointed in the type of technology that they've laid out in this Ultimaker and I'm, we're gonna watch this six minute long video and we're gonna talk about this all right Stay tuned. Maker 3. A prof this is the Ultimaker 3, a professional yet accessible 3D printer with reliable dual extrusion, swappable print cores, and wireless control. Let's see what makes it the most industrial grade desktop 3D printer available. The Ultimaker 3 has a large build volume but fits conveniently on your desk. Okay, so that's true. It does have a slightly bigger bulk volume than the, than the, than the previous model. And, um, <coughs> sorry. So, as far as I know, the last major update they had was the 2 Plus, in which it was a, a just a, a head update, a, a extruder update, hot end, I'm not too sure what it was, and it came with a little sticker and you stuck that on there. It still is a very low profile printer, still a very sexy printer, that's why I want one. It's white and it's, you know, it's got the black decals on it and it's, it's, got the, it's very well lit. Uh, it looks like it's easy enough to understand as well. Um, I've spoken to a couple of people and I, yeah, I mean, and the majority of it is that it's a very easy to use printer. Not easy enough though, in today's day. But, so that, that's true. It comes with print cores for build and support materials. There's a customized nozzle geometry per material, which means reduced risk of clogging and a more reliable 3D printing experience. WTF. WTF. They say that they're different, but that one said AA and this one says BB and it's 0 0.4 and it looks exactly the same. What is the different geometry with these with these 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 hot ends here? All right, I don't I don't know if they're just trying some kind of kind of gimmick shit, but slotting it in there like a freaking single ink cartridge system does not work. It's not going to make me want to run out and buy one. I hate this. All right, so maybe there's different temperatures. Let's see. Its print core PCB ensures a more accurate temperature reading. What? What, what is a print core PCB? It looks like it's just two thermistors on either side of that hot end, one here and one here, and they somehow tether into this PCB that registers a more accurate thermistor reading. I mean, this is an E3D just with an unnecessary thermistor. Okay. And superior print quality. The Ultimaker 3 can print at temperatures as high as 280 degrees Celsius. 280 degrees Celsius? Wow! Gee whiz! Okay, um, what is the max temperature on E3D? I think it's about 295 degrees Celsius. I mean, you can push it to 420 with a thermocoupler. 420 degrees Celsius. So why, why are we needing to modulize this hot end system? When in actual fact, you just need one hot end that can go up to high temperatures. You don't need different types of hot ends for different types of material. Fast print core changes mean higher uptime and easier maintenance. What the fuck is a print core change? 
Print Core LED lights intuitively notify you if any user interaction is required. For easy print removal, yeah, because if you don't put that thing in properly, it's gonna go red. That's what I'm assuming. So either you put it in right or you don't. And then it either goes red or blue. Or to clean the glass plate, simply open the clamps and remove the plate. The clamps! Oh yeah, okay. So the clamps. The clamps have been there for ages on other printers, but somehow in 2016, Ultimaker think that it is necessary to now put this in a video about promoting the Ultimaker 3. Leveling the build plate is effortless. Effortless. You want to see effortless? Have a look at the MK2, all right? You set it up when you build it, and that's that. When you use it for the first time, simply set the right height by turning a knob while using the that's Ultimaker calibration lady. card. After that, the Ultimaker 3's active leveling does it automatically. The capacitive sensor in the print head measures the distance between the build plate and the nozzle. When starting a print, the offset is compensated by adjusting the Z height in the first layers. This results in more accurate leveling, improved build plate adhesion, and optimized print quality. Pre-configured Cura profiles provide you with optimal print settings per material and intuitively recognize which print core and material you're using. Okay, so each each uh, filament spool now has an NFC chip in it that communicates with the printer, from what I understand from this video, that tells the printer what material it is. And then the printer will automatically adjust its slicer settings for that type of material. I, it sounds like it's, like it's going down the whole Da Vinci route, where it's really unnecessary because all you have to do is tell the printer what material you're printing. So, from what I understand here, what happens if you put one of your own, uh, one of your own 3D printing filaments on here? It's, is it going to work? Is it not going to work? I'm not too sure. I assume they're not going to. It's not going to work or something like that. But it looks like they're trying to corner the market on the filament now as well. Uh, let's see. Multimaker's range of materials are formulated to achieve superior print results and the open filament system lets you experiment with all kinds of additional materials. To bring your 3D model to life, you'll need to prepare it for print using Cura, our free slicer software. You can either stick with the preset or tinker with the advanced settings. Through standalone printing, you can print directly from your PC or laptop via Wi-Fi or LAN connection. Alternatively, you can load the G-code files on a USB drive that slots into the Ultimaker 3. So that's one, that's one thing we're, we're doing right, is we have a USB port on there. Um, I've been saying this for many months, years now, is that we should be putting USB ports in all of these printers. Uh, the whole SD approach is not working anymore. Um, it's just too cumbersome, and it's, it's dated. It's dated. It shouldn't have been there to begin with, and it shouldn't be there now. Um, so that's that's a step in the right direction. A, a more bigger step would be their Wi-Fi solution that they're offering. I'm not too sure how it's running, but that's also a good a good thing. Giving them Wi-Fi. So let's see what else what else are we getting here. The control panel lets you make any adjustments during the print. The Ultimaker 3 is the most reliable dual extrusion printer on the market. Combine two build materials for dual color 3D prints or achieve state-of-the-art complexity with build in water-soluble support material. Sorry, I gotta reverse. You, gotta, you have to see this. This guy's talking about the best bed adhesion. Bed adhesion, as he said. Let me, let me just... Achieve state-of-the-art complexity with build in water-soluble materials for dual color 3D prints or achieve state-of-the-art complexity. The Ultimaker 3 is the most reliable dual extrusion printer on the market. Combine two build materials for dual color 3D prints, or achieve state-of-the-art complexity this. with build in water-soluble that, support materials. That is not good adhesion. A, the thing literally comes off there. Uh, what is adhesion? Um, okay, anyway. Allows you to approach your design process in a completely new way and create astoundingly complex designs. Ultimaker 3's unique nozzle lifting system ensures that there's no nozzle collision while printing. We are way into the future here, guys. I don't know why we're still using dual nozzles 
and quadruple nozzles when we just need one. Look at Mosaic and look at what's that one called now? There's these, uh, I think it's the E3D guys have that splitter where it has two in and one out. Okay, your extruders are, the, are the, the, the control center here of getting dual multiple extrusions, not your your, your hot ends, your, your actual nozzles. There's just too many variables there to control. Now you've got to lift one up and you've got to drop the other one. Lifting that thing up with some kind of coil mechanism there, some kind of a magnetic coil mechanism, it's only lifting it up probably about three or four milli millimeters at most. You're still going to get um, extrusion of the over extrusion you're going to get overhangs and it's just i mean why limit yourself to two when we can go four five six colors in one 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 nozzle and you have to and then you have to like you have to make sure that all of those things are exactly aligned and your x and y offsets your z offset this this is too ancient technology we need to be moving into something more in today's age I mean, Prusa is literally a month away, not even a month, I think in the beginning of November, they are, they are, they are launching, I've already pre-ordered it, it's, my, it's a four extruder kit that, that all of them go into one, one nozzle, and that's that. The extruders control your, 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 your different colors and your different filament changes. I don't understand why, why we're still thinking about with, with dual hot ends. We are way past two two uh, filaments now. And no problematic oozing. The powerful geared feeders ensure more reliable results and superior print quality. The Ultimaker 3 features a build plate that's okay. lighter and stiffer, which reduces vibrations okay, and produces an unrivaled print quality. Thanks to the heated glass the build color. plate, you can print using many different materials and with improved build plate adhesion. Build plate adhesion. Ultimaker 3 yeah, has a power. Ultimaker 3 has a power using many different materials and with improved build plate adhesion. Ultimaker 3 has a powerful triple fan system featuring two new radial fans and fan shrouds. It creates greater pressure buildup for improved airflow. This means better cooling, high quality bridging, faster print times, and smooth print surfaces. With the live camera, you can monitor every stage of your 3D printing project. We have a live camera now. Woohoo! Okay, so in 2014, when MakerBot came out with the built in, uh, the fifth generation MakerBot, there was a camera there already. With, between 2012, 2013, 2011 to 2013, let's say 20, 2011, when Octoprint came out, there was, there was support for webcams. It's now four years after that. Say 2012, 2012. So it's it's four years after that, and now we have a camera on the Ultimaker. This is blowing my mind. Remotely, simply by connecting to Wi-Fi. The Ultimaker 3 has a large layer resolution range of up to 20 micron, which allows for remarkably detailed prints or super fast prototypes. Okay, so we've got some water soluble. Uh, filament here. It's just, it's just beauty shots as well. That doesn't look very detailed to me either. There's, there's some, uh, some stringy... Printing with PVA and PLA allows complex designs to be printed in place without any post-printing assembly. PVA can also be printed in dual extrusion with Ultimaker Nylon, an engineering material that's ideal for exceptionally strong today, functional prototypes. Using yeah, two build materials, you can also create uh, dual color prints for more realistic concept models. The Ultimaker 3 gun comes gun. with free lifetime technical support and warranty, provided by certified support experts worldwide. When you put it all together, the Ultimaker 3 is the most industrial grade desktop 3D printer on the market. Industrial with the Ultimaker 3. 3, professional 3D printing is made accessible. To who? Who's a bit accessible to? Because I can't afford one, and I've got many 3D printers, and I wouldn't, the problem I'm having is, it's more of a morale problem. I wouldn't put down that kind of money for uh, an Ultimaker. Um, I know they're good printers, I've heard, a lot, I've heard a lot about them, but generally the people I know who have them have another printer as well that they use a lot of the time. So, it's got to be made for someone who can put it on their desk, because that's what they said, it's, low, it's a low-profile printer, 
but the people who are putting them on their desk, you want to be able to make sure that you're going to make the money back from it in a business sense. And that's not going to work here because then you'd rather go for an industrial size printer. What's with the robot arm in the background here? I'm not too sure what's happening. But what I'm saying is, we waited long enough for this. I'm a big Ultimaker fan and I'm very disappointed. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know. All right, because there's just so much happening right now in the 3D printing world. And I feel like we were all waiting for Ultimaker to hit us with this boom in your face. Yeah, we were, we were leading the edge again, but they haven't. They've actually fallen way behind. I, I haven't seen any, any much videos about it. This is the only video I've seen and I've seen Tom's video. Um, I want you guys to tell me what you think of this. All right, Where, what is happening right now? Am, am I wrong? Am I right? You know, I've got lots of printers. I've been around uh, a while as well. I've been, I've been you know, in, in the 3D printing world. I'm not a, I'm not a retard. Um, I want to know, am I, am I being completely hard on them? Or is this, is this something that we have to put up with now? Thanks, guys. Hit the subscribe button and, yeah, leave me comments. And let's, let's talk about this.